All right, guys, today I'm going to take a look at um, something that happened in the Worcester Warriors versus Gloucester rugby game that happened on Saturday. So we'll just take a quick look here on YouTube as to what happened. So the kick came up and the Gloucester player takes it. And then there is a lift tackle by the Worcester player. And so what we clearly what we see is this player is is tackled and lands on his head. I think that that is a red card. But the point that's interesting is this bit here, where the player has kicked the Worcester player in what looks like the sort of neck to face area, and that's what I think is the interesting part of this. And I think the actions of the Worcester player here. I think it is a red card. He does drop him over the horizontal. He doesn't attempt to drop him down slowly or in any way to keep him safe. He just drops him on his head. So for me, that is a red card. And we're going to take a quick look at the rugby rules. And so if you see here, a player must not tackle, charge, pull, push, or grasp an opponent whose feet are off the ground. He does that. And a player must not lift an opponent off the ground and drop or dive that player so that their head and or upper body make contact with the ground. Now he's done sort of a mix of both of these. So that's why I think that is a red card. But another point is another part of dangerous player here is players must not do anything that is reckless or dangerous to other players. Now I think that the actions of the red number 22 here, the Gloucester player, is reckless and puts another player in danger. We saw Jordy Barrett get a red card for something like this recently in the Rugby Championship. And some people will say, he's off balance, he can't control it. Well, if you're not in control of your body, you're putting other players at risk on a rugby pitch, in my opinion. So, in my opinion, I think that number, the number 22 for Gloucester, should have gotten a red card as well. I think both of them should have gotten a red card. And now there's the potential that these actions, some people think that these actions maybe led to this happening. Now I don't personally see that. He gets kicked in the throat and then he, the player's leg comes and he grabs it and lifts him up. I don't think, now to be fair, being kicked in the throat is probably not very fun, but I'm not sure that you can claim that that's led to what this happening. So I think that the Worcester player and the Gloucester player should both have got a red card. Uh, please tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you're new around here. But as always guys, have a great day. Thanks.